Hello everyone, my name is Leo, and today I want to share a deeply emotional story with you. It's a tale that began in the late 1980s, when Mark Winger found himself on a blind date with a co-worker of his brother. Her name was Donna. Donna, a compassionate hospital tech, and Mark, a respected nuclear engineer, were about to embark on a journey they never expected. As they ventured through their blind date, Mark and Donna discovered a connection that transcended the ordinary. Their chemistry was palpable, and it didn't take long for them to realize they were meant to be together. After six months of courtship, Mark made the courageous decision to propose to Donna, who joyfully accepted. On March 4th, 1989, amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Florida, Mark and Donna exchanged vows in a lavish wedding ceremony. Surrounded by loved ones, they sealed their commitment to each other. Their love seemed unbreakable, their future bright. However, life had its own plans. Years passed, and the couple decided to start anew in Springfield, Illinois. There, they built a life filled with aspirations of a growing family. Yet fate dealt them a cruel blow when they learned Donna couldn't conceive. Mark's dream of a bustling household faded, leaving a void in their hearts. But then, in June 1995, a flicker of hope emerged. While Donna was working in the operating room, a doctor approached her with a proposition that would alter their lives forever. He spoke of a teenage mother desperate to give her baby up for adoption. Without hesitation, the doctor thought of Donna and Mark. When Donna shared the news with Mark, their hearts swelled with excitement and trepidation. The decision to adopt was daunting, but their yearning to nurture a child outweighed any fears. With boundless love in their hearts, they welcomed baby Bailey into their lives. From the moment Bailey entered their home, Donna and the baby forged an unbreakable bond. Every coup, every smile, filled their lives with unimaginable joy. But beneath the surface of their newfound happiness, whispers of uncertainty lingered, hinting at shadows yet to be unveiled. Donna's maternal instincts blossomed, enveloping her in a warm embrace of motherhood. She radiated with love and devotion, finding solace in the nurturing bond she shared with baby Bailey. Mark, too, eagerly embraced his new role as a father, brimming with excitement and anticipation. Together, the Winger family painted a portrait of perfection, their unity resembling that of an idyllic, all-American family. Donna found unwavering support in her close friend, Deanne Schultz, whose comforting presence eased the challenges of motherhood. Deanne's steadfast friendship proved invaluable, offering guidance and respite in moments of exhaustion. In the summer of 1996, Donna and Bailey embarked on a journey to Florida to visit Donna's parents. It was a trip filled with anticipation and joy, as Donna eagerly introduced her daughter to her extended family. Yet, what began as a hopeful reunion took a chilling turn. As Donna journeyed home with Bailey, the driver assigned by her parents revealed unsettling truths. His words dripped with an unsettling confession as he spoke of voices urging him to commit unspeakable acts of violence. Donna's heart raced with fear as she grappled with the realization that she was alone with a man teetering on the edge of sanity. The driver's unsettling disclosures only deepened Donna's unease. His admission of a dark fascination with older women sent shivers down her spine as did his lurid invitations to sordid gatherings. With each passing mile, Donna's anxiety mounted, her mind clouded with doubts and fears. The journey home became a harrowing ordeal, with Donna clinging to the fragile hope of a safe return. Every swerve of the car, every sudden acceleration, sent tremors of fear coursing through her veins. She prayed fervently for deliverance, her thoughts consumed by the specter of danger lurking just beyond the dashboard. When Donna finally arrived home with Bailey, 
relief washed over her like a tidal wave. Yet, the trauma of the journey lingered, casting a long shadow over her sense of security. She reached out to her sister, seeking solace in the comforting embrace of family. But even amidst the reassurances, the memory of that fateful car ride haunted her, a stark reminder of the fragility of safety in a world fraught with uncertainty. Despite Mark's swift action to address their fears, Donna couldn't shake the gnawing sense of unease that gripped her. Strange phone calls echoed through the silence of their home, each ring a haunting reminder of the danger lurking just beyond their doorstep. Suspicions mounted, and with a heavy heart, Mark took action, filing a complaint against the driver, Roger Harrington. But their efforts to safeguard their peace were in vain. On August 29, 1996, terror descended upon the Winger household like a tempest. In a frantic call to 911, Mark's voice trembled with panic as he described a nightmare unfolding before his eyes. His words painted a chilling tableau of violence as he recounted the brutal assault on Donna, his beloved wife. The arrival of the Springfield Police Department brought a momentary reprieve, but the scene they encountered was one of unspeakable horror. Donna lay battered and barely clinging to life, her once vibrant spirit dimmed by the savagery of the attack. Beside her, the motionless form of Roger Harrington bore witness to the chaos that had unfolded. As Donna and Roger were rushed to the hospital, the police sifted through the wreckage of shattered lives. Blood-stained evidence littered the scene, each crimson smear a testament to the brutality of the assault. In Roger's vehicle, a chilling note served as a grim harbinger of the violence that had transpired, a stark reminder of the darkness lurking in the shadows. Amidst the chaos, Mark's anguish was palpable, his heart heavy with the weight of unanswered questions. In the dim light of the master bedroom, he pleaded for answers, his voice a raw symphony of grief and confusion. Though the truth lay hidden behind a veil of deceit, the detective chose to withhold the identity of the assailant, leaving Mark to grapple with the torment of uncertainty. In the aftermath of tragedy, the echoes of violence reverberated through the corridors of their once peaceful home, leaving shattered dreams and broken hearts in their wake. And as the dawn broke on a world forever changed, the shadows of suspicion cast a long shadow over the fragile remnants of hope. In the aftermath of chaos, amidst the shattered fragments of their once tranquil lives, Mark found solace in recounting the harrowing events to the detective. His voice trembled with raw emotion as he pieced together the fragments of a nightmare that had unfolded before his eyes. According to Mark's account, the ordinary rhythms of their evening were shattered by a deafening commotion that echoed through the walls of their home. Fear gnawed at his heart as he ventured into the master bedroom, only to be met with a scene of unimaginable horror. There he beheld his daughter, Bailey, abandoned on the bed, a silent witness to the violence that ensued. His instincts aflame with a primal urge to protect, Mark's heart pounded with dread as he ventured further into the darkness, guided only by the flickering light of desperation. The sight that greeted him in the kitchen was one etched in the annals of his nightmares. A stranger, wielding a hammer with malicious intent, raining blows upon Donna. In a moment of frenzied desperation, Mark's hand found the cold steel of his gun, a desperate last line of defense against the encroaching darkness. With trembling hands and a heart heavy with dread, he fired, the deafening roar of the gunshot shattering the silence of their home. Yet even as the assailant fell, fate intervened, granting him a fleeting reprieve from the clutches of death. In a blur of motion, the intruder rose once more, a specter of terror looming in the shadows. With resolve born of desperation, Mark fired once more, 
the echo of gunfire reverberating through the corridors of their home. In the aftermath of the chaos, as the dust settled and the truth came to light, Mark's world crumbled around him. The detective's confirmation of the assailant's identity sent shockwaves rippling through his soul, casting shadows of doubt and disbelief upon his shattered reality. But amidst the wreckage of shattered dreams, a glimmer of clarity emerged. In Donna's own words, penned in a moment of terror and uncertainty, lay the damning truth, a trail of breadcrumbs leading back to the source of their torment. As the investigation unfolded, the pieces of the puzzle fell into place, revealing a tapestry of violence and despair. Roger Harrington, a figure shrouded in darkness, emerged as the architect of their suffering, his actions driven by a toxic cocktail of rage and resentment. In the end, justice prevailed, casting a fragile veil of closure over their fractured existence. The truth, however painful, offered a semblance of solace amidst the wreckage of their lives. And as Donna's loved ones gathered to bid her farewell, the echoes of her absence reverberated through the hollow chambers of their grief-stricken hearts, a silent testament to the enduring legacy of love and loss. In the tender embrace of newborn Bailey's presence, Mark's behavior took a troubling turn, veering down a dark and tumultuous path. Despite the shadows of trauma that loomed over their lives, Mark sought refuge in the numb embrace of alcohol and the disturbing allure of violent movies, his fragile psyche teetering on the brink of collapse. By December 1995, the strain of caring for Bailey became too much for Donna's grieving family to bear. They watched with heavy hearts as Mark spiraled further into the abyss, consumed by a torrent of grief and despair. In a desperate bid for respite, they proposed a solution, hire a nanny to alleviate the burden weighing upon Mark's weary shoulders. Reluctantly, Mark acquiesced to their suggestion, welcoming Rebecca into their fractured fold. With her radiant smile and gentle touch, Rebecca brought a glimmer of light into their darkened world, her presence a beacon of hope amidst the chaos that threatened to engulf them. But beneath the surface of her warm facade, tension simmered, threatening to boil over at any moment. Donna's best friend, Deanne, yearned to play a more active role in Bailey's life, her longing fueled by a deep well of grief and longing. Yet Rebecca's unease at Deanne's persistent presence hinted at a discordant melody playing beneath the surface of their fragile existence. As the night stretched into oblivion, Mark and Rebecca found solace in each other's company, seeking refuge in the embrace of shared laughter and whispered confessions. But even amidst the warmth of their companionship, a shadow of doubt lingered, casting a pall over their fragile bond. Meanwhile, Mark's quest for justice led him down a labyrinthine path, fraught with uncertainty and despair. His lawsuit against the BART Transportation Company served as a desperate plea for retribution, a cry for vindication amidst the wreckage of shattered dreams. And yet, amidst the tumult of legal battles and whispered suspicions, Mark's inquiry about his surrendered gun hinted at darker truths lurking just beneath the surface. A sense of foreboding hung heavy in the air as the specter of uncertainty loomed large over their fractured existence, threatening to unravel the fragile threads of hope that bound them together. As Mark's story unfolded, a shadow of doubt crept into the detective's mind, casting a pall over the clarity of truth. The details of the crime scene seemed to dance in eerie discord, their whispers hinting at secrets yet to be unveiled. In the midst of turmoil, Mark and Rebecca's relationship took an unexpected turn, blossoming into something more than mere companionship. Yet, as their love deepened, doubts lingered like specters in the shadows, casting a pall over their fragile bond.
a chance encounter with Rebecca's brother, offered a glimpse into the depths of Mark's character, revealing a troubling truth hidden beneath the surface. Instead of mourning Donna's tragic demise, Mark's words dripped with a chilling sense of self-aggrandizement, his boasts ringing hollow amidst the echoes of sorrow and loss. But amidst the tumult of their burgeoning romance, joyous news emerged, a new life blossoming within Rebecca's womb, a beacon of hope amidst the darkness that threatened to engulf them. Mark, eager to demonstrate his commitment, made a solemn vow to embrace a new faith, a gesture of sacrifice in the name of love. Yet, even amidst the joy of newfound parenthood, a shadow of secrecy loomed large as Mark and Rebecca chose to elope in a faraway land, their union shrouded in silence and secrecy. The news struck Donna's family like a dagger to the heart, their grief compounded by the suddenness of Mark's seemingly callous betrayal. In the wake of tragedy, Mark's actions spoke volumes. His decision to sell their home and forge a new life with Rebecca echoing with a haunting finality. And yet, amidst the tranquil beauty of their new abode, a pond glistening in the sunlight, the echoes of Donna's absence lingered like a silent lament, a reminder of the fragility of love in a world fraught with uncertainty and loss. As the years passed, the tranquil beauty of the pond became a sanctuary for Mark, a refuge from the tumult that threatened to engulf their lives. Yet, even amidst the laughter and joy that echoed through their home, the shadows of the past loomed large, casting a pall over their fragile existence. With each passing year, Mark and Rebecca's family grew, their love blossoming anew with the arrival of three precious children. Yet, amidst the joy of parenthood, the bonds that once united them with Donna's family began to fray, their shared grief giving way to a growing chasm of estrangement. In a poignant gesture of love and remembrance, Donna's parents sought to bestow upon Bailey a gift from her mother, a necklace, a precious memento of the woman they had lost. But Mark's refusal, his insistence on erasing Donna's memory from their lives, only served to deepen the wounds of separation. Despite their efforts at reconciliation, the rift between the families widened, a silent testament to the lingering pain and resentment that festered beneath the surface. Yet amidst the darkness, Donna's family continued to shower Bailey with love, a beacon of hope in a sea of uncertainty. But amidst the tangled web of secrets and lies, a startling revelation emerged, a confession that shattered the fragile facade of their lives. Deanne Schultz, Donna's trusted friend, revealed a truth too painful to bear, a betrayal that cut to the core of their shared grief. In the aftermath of Donna's murder, Deanne and Mark's illicit affair unfurled like a dark shadow, casting a pall over their fragile bond. Yet, even amidst the wreckage of their lives, Deanne clung to the shards of her shattered existence, her heart torn between love and guilt. As the weight of her secret threatened to crush her, Deanne found herself teetering on the edge of despair, her soul adrift in a sea of remorse and regret. In the depths of her anguish, she grappled with the consequences of her actions, struggling to find redemption amidst the wreckage of betrayal and loss. As the detective delved deeper into Donna's murder case, a chilling revelation emerged a tangled web of deceit and betrayal lurking just beneath the surface. Suspicion cast its long shadow over Mark, his actions scrutinized through the lens of doubt and uncertainty. The disappearance of crucial evidence sent shockwaves rippling through the heart of the investigation, casting doubt upon the veracity of the narrative that had been woven around Donna's tragic demise. Questions lingered like ghosts in the darkness, haunting the detectives every step. In the absence of forced entry, the pieces of the puzzle failed to align, 
their jagged edges hinting at a truth too horrifying to contemplate. Roger Harrington's presence, once deemed a sinister specter, now stood shrouded in uncertainty, his innocence called into question by the damning evidence that lay scattered in the wake of tragedy. Yet, amidst the chaos, a glimmer of clarity emerged, a series of Polaroid photographs captured in the fleeting moments before the world descended into darkness. Their stark images painted a portrait of betrayal, casting doubt upon the carefully crafted facade that Mark had woven around his actions. As the detective pieced together the fragments of truth, a sense of disbelief washed over Donna's mother, her heart heavy with the weight of newfound revelation. In the shadows of suspicion, the truth emerged like a beacon of light, offering solace amidst the wreckage of shattered dreams. In the cold light of September, the truth lay bare, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurked within the hearts of men. And as Donna's mother grappled with the enormity of the revelation, a sense of relief washed over her like a tidal wave, casting aside the veil of doubt that had clouded her vision for so long. As the tendrils of suspicion tightened around Mark, Roger's family clung to a fragile hope, praying for vindication amidst the storm of uncertainty. A friend's revelation, a glimmer of truth amidst the darkness, cast doubt upon Roger's guilt, painting a portrait of deception and manipulation woven by unseen hands. With each passing day, the shadow of suspicion grew, its tendrils entwining around Mark like a suffocating embrace. Surveillance cast its watchful gaze upon his home, a silent sentinel bearing witness to the unfolding drama of betrayal and deceit. But as the grand jury convened, fate cast its irrevocable decree, sealing Mark's destiny in the annals of justice. With a formal indictment, the weight of accusation bore down upon him like a leaden shroud, casting him into the abyss of uncertainty and doubt. Yet, amidst the chaos, Rebecca stood as a steadfast beacon of support, her faith unwavering in the face of adversity. With each passing day, however, doubt crept into her heart like a whisper of doubt, casting shadows upon the love that had once bound them together. As Mark's trial unfolded, the courtroom became a battleground of conflicting narratives, each side waging a war of words in the pursuit of truth the state painted a damning portrait of manipulation and deceit. While Mark's attorney sought to unravel the tangled web of suspicion that ensnared his client. In the end, the truth remained elusive, obscured by the fog of uncertainty and doubt. And as the jury deliberated, the echoes of Donna and Roger's tragic fate reverberated through the hallowed halls of justice a silent testament to the fragility of truth in a world shrouded in darkness. In the haunting echo of tragedy, Donna's last moments unfolded in a symphony of horror and despair. As the gunshot pierced the silence, she fled from the room, leaving behind the innocent babe who lay sleeping in the cradle of innocence. With each blow of the hammer, Mark's rage erupted like a tempest shattering the fragile semblance of peace that once enveloped their home. And as Donna's cries echoed through the night, a shadow of darkness descended, staining their lives with the indelible mark of violence and betrayal. In the chilling aftermath, the truth emerged like a dagger to the heart, a callous act of brutality that shattered the lives of those left behind. As Roger's moans echoed through the darkness, Mark's facade crumbled, revealing the true depths of his depravity. With each passing day, justice sought its reckoning, casting Mark into the abyss of his own making, a prison of guilt and remorse from which there could be no escape. And as the weight of his crimes bore down upon him, Rebecca stood as a solitary sentinel, her heart torn between love and duty. But amidst the darkness, a glimmer of hope emerged, a journey of healing and redemption that beckoned from afar. As Bailey embarked on her pilgrimage to Donna's hometown, she found solace in the embrace of those who loved her. 
their warmth a balm to her wounded soul. In the embrace of Donna's family, Bailey found a beacon of light amidst the shadows, a testament to the enduring power of love and the resilience of the human spirit. And as she celebrated her birthday surrounded by their love, she found a sense of belonging that transcended the boundaries of time and space. In the tapestry of their shared grief, Donna's family wove a thread of love that bound them together, a testament to the enduring legacy of a woman whose light continued to shine bright even in the darkest of nights. And as Bailey's laughter echoed through the halls of their home, it served as a reminder of the beauty that emerges from the ashes of tragedy, a testament to the enduring power of love to heal even the deepest of wounds.